Hello, I have another one of these. It's showing full bars. It's a 12 ampere high output battery. It's charging to 19.7, 19.8 volts. So you might think, no problem. Where's the problem? But if you put that in a saw or something, it discharges very quickly and starts to flash the lights. I'm going to show you why. It means testing these five banks of cells. And one of these batteries is three banks, or five banks of three cells. And they should measure the same. Or very, very close to the same in the voltage. So if I go along these one at a time, 4.14, 4.04, a little bit lower, but not significantly so. 4.14, the same as the first bank. That's about 4.09, not too bad either. But this last bank will tell the tale. That's when the light goes out. 3.59. So this bank of cells is nearly fully discharged, and this bank of cells is fully charged. So that's why, um, that's why she's losing the few volts. But that makes a terrible difference to the performance of this battery, more than you would think. Your battery's operating between just below 18 to uh, possibly 21 volts roughly this battery could be losing up to a volt in power and you think that's not too much but these cells have to carry the load equally and when this one goes down to 3.59 or so or 3.5 that's actually shutting the tool down to avoid over discharge these batteries are set up not to overcharge or over discharge so if this is sitting at 4.14 that's fully charged so that'll signal to the charger that it's fully charged if this sits at 3.15 or 3.6 that signals to the tool when you're using it this is fully discharged let's stop working even though it's showing four bars so what we have to do to correct is we have to bring this bank of cells up equal the rest and that'll put it back in business my solution is this the Lipro balance charger so what we have to do is connect this up to that one single bank of cells the negative side sort of here you know and the positive side would go suppose it could go anywhere there we'll see we'll get that pried up and get it clipped on Get it clipped on there. So that's effectively connected across this bank of cells. And what we do is set our two 1S, one series basically, and hit start, and then hold, and then confirm. And that'll slowly bring that up to 4.14 and restore this battery to work in order so we're going to have to leave her on a while and just see what happens right that took the most of an hour we've now reached capacity so that's all that charger is going to put into it so we'll stop the charger and take these off and i'll do a do a volt check to see what voltage we have overall Now reach 20.36 instead of 19.7. So just put it together with the screws on and call that fixed. So if you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.